All right, we're gonna do our 3D printed set receiver heat deflection testing. So we have two targets here, top dot, bottom dot. What we're going to do is shoot five rounds at the bottom dot. Then we're going to shoot 20 rounds at that steel plate. After those 20 rounds, we'll shoot them rather rapidly so as to heat the gun up. Then we'll come back and do five more rounds. This time we'll be aiming at the top dot. What we're trying to see is if there's any shift in accuracy, which we do expect some, but more importantly, any shift in where exactly the gun's zero holds as the gun heats up. So we're going to go back 100 yards here where we've got the gun set up. So let's go for a little run. All right, got our heart rate up now. We're back here at 100 yards. Throw the camera down on a tripod. Make sure everything's in shot good here. All righty, so we're ready for our first five rounds. Got those five rounds in this magazine. Here's our first five round group. Switch over to our 20 rounder here. Although, probably be worth us to reload our next five now. All right, now we're gonna put 20 rounds on the big steel gong on the left. Here's 20 rounds. By now I am sure the barrel is really hot, hot enough that you touch it for just a second and your fingers really feel it. So now let's do five more rounds at the other dot. Now at this point, let's go run back. Let's see what we got here. So it looks like we're pretty much consistently hitting low. There's our first five shot group. Looks like we got maybe three inch group. Those are probably actually the farthest two. About a three inch group. And then once we got the gun warmed up, here were the ones that we shot. That, that one's got coming out, so that's probably, you know, we've got a stump back here. Probably a bullet hit the stump and then blew something back. So that's probably stump or spall from the gong. But we've got one, two, three, four, five going in. So after our 20 round dump, gun got really hot. And it looks like we're still at about a three inch group. And, you know, if, if you look at where the groups are centered, probably right there. So 
two inches low versus right there, about two inches low. I'd say that the gun's showing no sign of point of impact shift, which is very important. And it's shooting groups that are honestly, you know, rep representative of me as a shooter more than anything, but uh, representative of the sort of accuracy you could expect out of any sort of set me or G3 clone. So uh, happy to show you guys that.